Good morning. Cold and windy morning. But we're here to demonstrate what happens if you don't properly tend to your Christmas trees. Every year, there's always a couple of houses that catch fire because of a Christmas tree because it wasn't properly done. I'm joined today with Councilman Lagercio, who is also a firefighter and will be the one lighting the tree, lighting it up That's in it. many ways. <laughs> and Councilman Dan Panico, do we have any other council people here? No. no. Okay, so we're going to start because Dan doesn't even have a coat, and I'm sure he's freezing, and it's a little windy out. So we're going to show what happens, and I'm going to turn it over to our chief fire marshal. He heads all of our fire marshals in the town. They're here, and they're here to demonstrate to us how to take care of a Christmas tree, and what happens if you don't, if it gets too dry, uh, if any, if you, it's near a heating source or anything else. Our fire marshals do more than just inspections. They're there to protect us and make sure we're safe. Our chief fire marshal does a great job. Mr. Meehan is here also, our public safety inspector. Let me call him up also. Our public uh, safety inspector, John Meehan is here, and our chief fire marshal, Chris Merman. Chris. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Today we're going to demonstrate the uh the catastrophe that could happen if a tree is not properly maintained. A lot of people uh, in the holiday season, they're rushing around, uh, whether it's buying gifts, cooking dinner, relatives coming in and out of town, but there's some safety things that we want everyone to, to remember during this season. Uh, no matter what religion or uh, what type of uh, celebration you're doing, please ensure that you're doing them properly. We have here a, a few uh, items, Christmas lights. For the tree, whether you're using an artificial tree or a, a real tree, um, please make sure that there's no fraying, there's no damage to them. This one was taken out of my house. It's not you know, wrapped up nicely. Just pull it out of the box. The other thing you want to check is make sure all the bulbs are there. Uh, they, nowadays, they do work if one of the bulbs is missing. But the big thing to look for is fraying of the wires, something that can cause ignition of a fire or a shock on an artificial tree. Proper extension cords. There are extension cords that are rated for interior only and extension cords that are rated for exterior. Okay, uh, interior and exterior, this is interior only. You want to make sure that if you're using extension cords outside for those lights, that it's properly rated for that. You don't want anybody getting shocked or a, a fire occurring outside from leaves or any debris that are out there when the cord is energized. We want to always look for some sort of certification on the lights. Here is a UL certification. This one is a UL listed. It means that it was that this, these lights, the way they were manufactured and put together, were tested by a testing laboratory. And there are other ones uh, out there. But you want to look for the testing laboratory mark on there to make sure that they were tested to standards here in the United States. Other countries have less standards, they're not marked, they get imported into the country, and they, they can be dangerous at times, so we want to make sure that that's the way you have them, all right? You want to make sure that they're certified. And of course, always make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy. Now today we have two trees. We have a, uh, a tree that's been well maintained, a real tree, freshly cut, well maintained, and we have a tree behind us in our uh, mock uh, living room there that has not been well maintained. It hasn't been continuously watered. When it was cut down, we didn't cut the two inches off the bottom as, as the uh, manufacturers recommend, uh, not the manufacturers, the growers, uh, growing association recommends, cut, cut it fresh, then put it in the water. We didn't keep it in the water. We let it dry out. This tree we maintained uh, very well according to the National Christmas Tree Association's guidelines. And uh, councilman will demonstrate, we cut a piece off this tree, I can take this torch and yeah, don't, don't burn anyone's fingers. Okay, we have a torch. We can show that this this branch won't light. It, it's a plumber's torch because it's been well maintained. Yeah, don't go cheap on safety. Right? It's been well maintained. It's been watered every day. We keep it keep the uh, the trunk of the tree, the bottom part. The, 
four inches of water, we keep it in there and the tree will drink the water every day. And as long as you keep it maintained, keep it away from heaters, um, keep it away from candles, should be no, no real problems. Now, we're going to demonstrate, uh, we're gonna move some things out of the way, we're gonna demonstrate what happens when a tree is not well maintained and we'll, we'll uh, simulate an electrical, uh, electrical failure at the tree. Is uh, our, our version here at the town of Brookhaven's mock-up living room, the tree, some gifts, uh, couch and table. We have lights lit on the tree, but again, this tree was not well maintained. And I also have to mention the tree that we just demonstrated with that we did purchase uh, will be uh, donated to a needy family. This tree uh, simulated an electrical failure. And you can see fire normally grows doubles in size every 30 seconds. With the tree, the added tool of the tree, the time frame could increase greatly. We have our smoke alarm, which is great. Everyone can have it in their home. They can test them every time they change the clock, change the battery, and test them monthly. Now, a fire like that is definitely preventable. And this is something that occurs in the town of Brookhaven rarely. Uh, we did not have a Christmas tree fire last year. The year before we did, and there were several injuries. Please maintain the Christmas trees, and when the season's over, get them out of the house. Right? We're going to have our uh, fire marshals come in, who are also firefighters, and extinguish the fire. Definitely something that's preventable. Just follow the safety rules that are out there. Thank you.